What's up, guys? It's your favorite owl, Eagle Owl here. This surprised me. This was when I was, oh my gosh, I was just YouTubing this of my nothing stuck from villain of story. And turns out, Christian did reactions of the new villain of the story of the singles. And turns out he reacted to a bunch of them. I'm the first reaction. Oh no. See, I've had no uh, Sebastian from Bad Omens react to my stuff on his streams all the time. And it's just, to me, it's funny that all these bands now just comment on my videos and just react to it. And just, I don't know, it's, it's kind of cool that these bands reach out to me and it's like, yo, thanks for the reaction. I, I don't expect like most of these bands that are actually like one that I really enjoy and love that actually care about this. Like, I guess really my comments per se. So I'm going to cringe a lot to this for sure. So you're going to be with me together with this guys. It's first time reaction. I actually just listened to the brand new album. So this should be out after the album per se that I reacted to it. So here we go. Oh no. What's up guys? It's your favorite owl, Eagle Owl here. We got a brand new reaction for you guys today. Oh, two, no. two new villain of the story oh, tracks. No. I'm curious about this. Like, dudes are seen announced him react to this before. an album for yeah, November. Yeah, I'm yeah. excited for this. And these single covers are bloody clean. I like it. They're stuck <laughs> and then there's enough. Dang, these are nice and clean. They've been Thank they've you. been doing work and I'm excited. Oh for this. my this gosh. is gonna sound great. Yo, and, Christian's and cool. I love Christian. Do See, Logan messaged me on Instagram that he checked it out. I did not know Christian made a reaction video, so this is, ooh. Two separate videos, oh, gosh. now let's put the Here both in. Violin, okay guys. This I is like you. my favorite shit. <laughs> <I love it. laughs> this is my favorite shit. Watching reactions to things. Yeah. Here we go. See, they don't realize I have to cut out most of my reactions because of copyright. That's the only thing. See, with these reactions and everything, I wish I could pull it in the whole entire thing, but like, YouTube copyright system is terrible, and most copyright IDs you have to, so you gotta deal with it. So I'm sorry, I can't put my full on re reaction. Oh, actually, I like these ambient guitars. These are nice. <laughs> oh. I like how okay. he's big, like something. cutting it up. That is something different for those. Like guys. just showing all the reaction I know that bits. For a fact. Damn, that was really. Really, you okay. like that? I'm I wish. Okay. Produced. I really wish I put it in the whole entire thing. I really do. That's nice, I guess. That's good to know. This track specifically reminded me of a band called Nine Shrines. And I don't know if they got influence mm. from this at all, but it sounded a lot like their EP Misery. And I love that EP. I've heard I of the band. Heard of the band, okay. The music. So it's interesting. Really sounded like this a lot. So I'm very curious if this was kind of influenced from that or they never heard of this band because this. <laughs> <laughs> this is what I wanted Nine Trains to go into. And I just did, did that. That's funny. That That's funny. New album. Oh. Dylan pulled a Nine Trains. So, <laughs> for Soul Card Boys, this is really good. I like this track a lot. I'm going to put this on the playlist for sure. Sweet. So, Sweet. Anyways, let's yeah. get into right. the next track of Villain of Story. Enough. Uh, Stuck was really influenced by Bring Me the Horizon. Um, oh, really? Like all that orchestra. Oh. I don't know if you could hear it, but like in the intro and the outro um underneath the snare we have like this big like big okay program sound it really gives like a bring me the horizon vibe when makes I sense samples and stuff i was like ooh, i love this under the snare drum yeah really cool. i forgot that they have a big influence for bring me horizon and bad omens i forgot about that i didn't i didn't expect that was stuck actually really interesting but, yeah stuck was bring me the horizon and a lot of breaking benjamin breaking benjamin okay hell uh, yeah just had like a okay uh, that intro riff without the orchestra, it was just guitars and drums. Mm, I had makes that, sense. and that makes was sense. it. And then I had a verse and a chorus, which were just guitar and drums, and it was a different idea, different tempo. But then Logan wrote the stuck thing over one of those clips. I'm like, oh, okay. So I took the tempo and I stretched it to match the other one, and I put them both together. And then he's like, yes, oh, bounce yeah. out this song, and I'll write the rest of it. But. Dudes, I honestly love to see if Christian or even Logan, I know, what is it? Uh, I know him from Bad Omens. He does this with, I don't know if it's going to be new tracks on the next record or not, but he did this with the EP. He did a, he did live streams on Twitch per se. They do music streams. So they like lay out all like the whole entire like logic file and just go bit by bit and just record and everything. I love to see like the 
logic file or whatever they use for make their production standpoint like which their file i love to see like every little cranny of production work and everything i love to see that with this album this there's a lot of production with this album per se so this would be cool but, all right <laughs> christian for you that was sick <laughs> his face dude <laughs> I love these he electronics. Loves my awesome. Okay, I like these ambient, ambient electronics right here. Like Jesus, this gives me damn Star Set vibes. Oh, that's cool. Damn. Yeah, it does. And Bad Omens vibes. This gives me Bad Omens vibes right here. <laughs> <laughs> he loves reactions. Jesus, so much. is this like deathcore at this point? <laughs> I love it, I love it. Dude, this is fun. Ooh! <laughs> so yeah, it looks like he's just That's reacting. a dirty bass. That's a dirty bass. Yeah, dude. Damn. Looks like he's just oh, chanting. jamming him on uh, Spotify or oh. something. No video. Ooh. No, I didn't do any videos. Just because of copyright reasons. That's the only reason why. If I did the video, that would be great. But, rip. <laughs> What is this guitar? Ooh. <laughs> okay. I love that he's loving my gonna go like hype it up. Yeah. Here we go. This is for me. That gave me chills right there. Sweet. Logan. Same dude. Same dude. Love the backtracks in that song. There's like, it's Park really good. It. Honestly, it's my favorite track for sure. Right now, so good. With that. I love to see the logic file or some kind of file on that that's with what did. everything. That's what you guys so good. Look. Hell yeah, dude. Ooh. Hell yeah. All right. Oh, I love Christian. At the awesome. first, there's so many influences in this. There's Lincoln Park for sure near the end. There's Bad Omens for sure. Some stars that I think a little bit. Hell yeah. Um, yeah, for enough, it was like the intro riff, uh, which is end ended up being the chorus. Um, I was getting, I was really into the latest motionless and white album disguise oh really come out at the time that i wrote that okay motionless and white again breaking benjamin but then yeah there was some wage war wage war really? orchestra breakdown oh okay like, is this deathcore deathcore like, <laughs> uh okay really heavy influence from like morte at dabo a lesson never learned um those kind of stuff uh, songs from reckless and relentless asking alexandria asking okay and then the chorus even the melody um in okay. my head and Logan and I wrote that melody. Um, he kind of gave me an idea, and then I bounced off of him. Um, the da -na 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 -na. Yeah. I just heard Chris Motionless Voice singing. Really? That. Okay. And I'm like, okay. Interesting. This song is cool. I really like it. Love um, Motionless and White. Great band. Second chorus, Great influence, for sure. There was going to be like one more like hype fast part and a guitar solo, but then Logan fought hard. He's like, dude, it's so unnecessary. Like, Just cut it. <laughs> go straight to the soft part. It's going to make it way more interesting and not get boring and that was a good call i was really pushing back i really wanted to keep the the fast drums and a guitar solo after the course yo three. make an alternative version christian that'd be sick like honestly do that as well that'd be cool well not like an alternative version like kusu but like the version that you wanted to do too so you got both so that'd be cool that'd be cool if you could do that but i'm really glad logan fought me on that yeah dude the outro um, before we even had vocals, that was the one, like almost the last thing we wrote, uh, for the album was really? the outro lyrics, melodies, and vocals for enough. Oh, wow. We had the instrumental done and I'm like, we rewrote the lyrics and everything so many times. Cause I'm like the instrumental gives such like an, to use the word epic, it has epic. Like a really epic emotional, <laughs> that's funny. That's uh, funny. It really made me feel something with like the strings and the choir that oh, I yeah. had. Enough was a great piano. track for sure. And then when we got to that version of the lyrics and melody that Logan wrote, all that. Um, Interesting. Like, yes, this, is, this is exactly what I was hearing in my head. That's why it took so long to do this album, because we just kept reworking things again and again and again, because it was like, no, this needs to be better, because we hear it in our heads, but we're not executing properly. That totally so makes like sense, though. Just really that does make sense. It all. So that was Eagle Owl's reaction to it. Hell yeah, I've seen him react to uh, some other stuff. 
and he's really cool. Really liked his faces and stuff. Oh, I love Christian. Dudes, if you haven't already, be sure to check out Christian. His YouTube channel is down below. He's a cool dude. If you haven't already, be sure to check out Villain Story's brand new album, Bloodshot. I probably have the reaction out on the channel already. Appreciate it. I always love to hear bands and artists' influences for music and how they perform and everything. And I really see you guys in a good direction on where you guys are going to take this band. And I can't wait. Hopefully to meet you guys in the future, maybe in Canada, if you guys tour here once touring is possible. But anyways, guys, that's about it. Hope you guys enjoy. Like, comment, subscribe, awesome stuff. And I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Peace out. <laughs>